We start with South Korean President Moon Jae-in's trip to Papua New Guinea for this year's APEC summit. Ahead of the summit, he has been rubbing shoulders with other world leaders. But the most attention-grabbing meeting happens in the coming hours, a crunch sit-down with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Our presidential office correspondent Shin Se-min reports. A true friend of South Korea. That was what President Moon Jae-in called Australia during his sit-down with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison on the sidelines of the APEC summit in Papua New Guinea. Reaffirming their solid relationship on every front and their shared universal values, President Moon called Australia the optimum partner and proposed stronger cooperation for Seoul's drive to upgrade its relations with ASEAN member nations. But today I look forward to discussing the issues you've raised and how we can continue to um, further our trade relationship uh, under our free trade agreement, which has proved to be very successful, very well received in Australia, and is already, I think, uh, demonstrating the benefits in both countries uh, to the mutual prosperity and support of our economies. President Moon also held talks with Peter O'Neill, the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, where they discussed ways to deepen their bilateral ties. President Moon also attended a meeting of the APEC Business Advisory Council, where he called on the participating nations to form a community that gives all countries a fair shot at economic prosperity. Still on the South Korean leader's schedule, a crunch summit with one of the key players in diplomatic efforts with North Korea. The South Korea-China bilateral meeting is scheduled for Saturday evening local time, and Presidents Moon and Xi Jinping are expected to discuss the possibility of lifting sanctions on North Korea and ways to revitalize what seems to be stalled talks between Pyongyang and Washington. President Moon may also ask his Chinese counterpart to play a more active role in encouraging the North to speed up its denuclearization process and Beijing's help in laying the groundwork for lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.